So here we are, sweet friends. Here we are for our last story read together. I saved this particular book for this time because I have a feeling you may go visit the place where you can find what lives in a shell. Where does this look like this is? You're smart, you know things, and you will figure this one out very fast. What rhymes with snail? Sh shell. Shell rhymes with snail. Do you know what this is? It is as hard as a stone, but it is not a stone. It is smooth like glass, but it is not glass. It's hollow inside like a cup, but it's not a cup. It is a shell. An animal made it. The shell was the animal's home. You live in a house or an apartment building. That is your home, and your home keeps you safe and warm. Lots of animals have homes Birds build nests, ants make tunnels underground, and a bear likes to live in a cave. So there's his home, and there's the ant's home, and there's the bird's home. Here is the animal that lives in this kind of shell. It is a land snail. A land snail is born with a tiny shell. Tiny. As long as the snail lives, it keeps on growing. As the snail grows, its shell grows with it. The shell keeps the snail safe. It's his foot, it's the shell, his eyes on these little stalks, there's his head, these are his tentacles, and this is his mouth. You can go in and out of your home. You can go you can run to the playground and you can wait outside for the bus. But a snail never leaves its home. It takes the home with, with it wherever it goes. So when he goes, the shell goes with it. He can't go outside of it because something could happen to him if it did. The snail pokes its soft head and it's one big foot out of the opening in its shell. It uses its foot to inch along. A snail is slow. Birds like to eat snails. When a bird or other enemy comes around, a snail cannot run away. It pulls its head and foot inside its shell and closes the door. Then the snail is safe. The bird says, where did he go? Other kinds of animals live in shells too. Shells come in many shapes, colors, and sizes. Turtles live in shells. A turtle shell can be bumpy or smooth. Most are rounded on top and flat on the belly. Baby turtles have little shells. As the babies grow bigger, their shells grow bigger. Coming out of the eggs. A turtle has four legs. It pokes its legs, head, and tail through the opening in its shell. Even though it has four legs, a turtle is slow. Have you ever had a turtle race? If a frog and a turtle were in a race, who do you think would win? What about a cat and a turtle? Good night. 
If a turtle sees a cat, it may be frightened. It may think the cat wants to eat it. A turtle cannot run as fast as a cat. The turtle pulls its heads and legs and tail into its shell. The cat pats the turtle with its paw. The turtle won't come out. It is safe in the shell. When you go to the seashore, you can find many different kinds of shells. You may see a crab walking on the sand. A crab has 10 legs. On its front legs are two claws. A hard shell covers its claws and the rest of its body. A crab shell fits it like a suit of armor and the armor helps keep the crab safe from enemies. But just as you outgrow your favorite shirt, a crab outgrows its shell. When it gets too tight, the crab pulls itself out. Underneath is a new shell. You may find snails buried in the sand. Some of them do not look much like the land snails. Whelks and conchs are types of snails that are different and found only by the sea. Here are many different kinds of sea snail shells. From the Pacific coast, which is the coast on the opposite side from where we live, these types of shells can be found. But on the Atlantic coast, which is the side where we go to the beach, these are the types of shells that you'll find. A conch shell, a pale snail, Now here's my favorite creature. When Jake was a little boy, he had a friend at school and she gave him a hermit crab for his birthday. And we had hermit crabs for years and years and Miss Nancy even brought them to school. But this year I did not have any crabs anymore, but I'm showing you this one in the book. Have you ever seen a snail shell walking along on crab legs? A hermit crab has hard claws in front but the back end of its body has a soft shell. Its shell is too soft to keep it safe from enemies. A hermit crab lives in an empty snail shell. After a while, the hermit crab grows too big for his shell, so he looks for a bigger one. Some are too big and some are too small. Finally, he finds one he likes and he throws away the old shell and crawls into the new one. Now the new shell is his home, and the snail shell helps keep him safe. So he looks and looks and looks at all of the shells until he finds just the right size, and then he gets in it. And it's really funny to watch. We used to watch our crabs change shells, and they only did it at night, like when nobody was looking. It's kind of funny. It's almost like they felt like they didn't have any clothes on. We used to laugh at them, and they would do it very fast, too. You can look for clam and oyster shells at the beach, too. Clam and oysters are animals. They have no legs. They do not have heads or tails. Their bodies are soft, but they are animals. Clams and oysters grow two hard shells. The top shell and the bottom shell look almost alike. The two shells are connected by a hinge. Scallops also have two shells. Here are some different kinds of scallop shells. And you guys will see some of these when you go to the beach. Get your sand pail out, go looking, and you'll find shells. But you won't find both pieces. You'll only find the half of the shell. Most clams and oysters hardly move at all. They open up their shells to take in food and water. They close their shells tightly when enemies are around. Some scallops can swim. A scallop does not swim like a fish, though. First, it opens its two shells, then it snaps them together quickly. This gets the scallop where it wants to go. That's a funny way to move. It'd take a long time to get there, wouldn't it? But that's how he moves. God made all kinds of amazing creatures, kids. 
When you find a shell, carefully look inside. It will probably be empty. If a shell is empty, it may mean that the animal has died or it has outgrown the shell and left it behind. If the animal is at home, you can watch it for a while. See if you can tell how it eats. How does it move? And what does it do when it feels frightened? When you go, leave the animal where you found it. Animals are happiest in their natural surroundings. If a shell is empty, you can take it home with you. If you are looking at shells in a state or a national park, be sure to ask the ranger or a game warden before you take anything. Sometimes you're not allowed to. But usually at the beach, there's no one there, and you can take any shells you find. And this is the last page, kids. This is the last page of all the different things we saw in the book that have shells. It says, try to find as many different kinds of shells as you can. And whether the shells you find are big or small, plain or fancy, remember, a shell is someone's home. So go out and enjoy the great outdoors and go to the beach and go wherever there's water and see what kind of discoveries that you can make today. I'll see you guys tomorrow for our last time. Have a great day.